Dear friends, welcome to my video on setting goals how to achieve your dreams. Kindly click on the CC button for subtitles. Why bother setting goals? First, let's get this straight. Having a dream is cool. It's your mind telling you what's possible. But goals, they are your dream's blueprint, the stepping stones to get you from here to there. They give you a roadmap and, trust me, you don't want to go on this journey without a map. Smart goals you've probably heard of smart goals. The acronym stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Yeah, it sounds corporate why, but it's legit effective. Specific, don't just say, I want to lose weight. Say, I want to lose 20 pounds. Measurable, how will you know when you've achieved it? Maybe by fitting into those old jeans or hitting that number on the scale. Achievable, make sure your goal is realistic given your resources and time. Aiming to be a millionaire in a month is, well, a bit ambitious. Relevant, ensure the goal aligns with your broader life ambitions. If you're passionate about health, then that weight loss goal fits right in. Time bound, deadlines create urgency. I want to lose 20 pounds in six months, is way more compelling than, someday. Break it down the whole, eating an elephant one bite at a time, metaphor applies perfectly to goals. Major aspirations can be overwhelming, and that's when we bail. To avoid this, break your goal down into sub-goals or milestones. If your dream is to publish a book, your mini-goals might look like, outline the book's chapters by next week. Write 500 words a day. Finish the first draft in three months. Revise in the following month. Make a plan a dream without a plan is like a car without gas. It's going nowhere fast. Make a to-do list for each sub-goal and stick to it. If your goal is to start a business, Jot down action items like research competition, create a business plan, secure funding, etc. Schedule these tasks in your calendar. If it's not scheduled, it's not real. Get accountability when you're the only one tracking your progress, it's easy to slack off. Get a goal buddy, someone who'll give you that judgy look when you say you haven't worked on your goal this week. An accountability partner can be a lifesaver, especially during those times when your motivation has gone on a vacation. Monitor and measure. How's it going? Is a question you should frequently ask yourself. Are you on track to meet your goal? Do you need to adjust something? Track your progress in a way that makes sense to you, whether that's a dedicated app, a bullet journal, or post it notes stuck to your bathroom mirror. The importance of adaptability your plan isn't set in stone. Things happen. You might find out your initial goal was too ambitious or not challenging enough. Being flexible and adjusting your goals doesn't mean you're giving up it means you're being realistic and adaptable. The mindset game you've heard of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, it's a real thing. If you keep telling yourself you're bad at something, you're likely to stay bad at it. Cultivate a growth mindset, the belief that you can improve and achieve. Mindset is half the battle. Celebrate the small wins finally, don't forget to celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Lost your first pound, awesome. Finished the first chapter of your book. You rock. These tiny victories keep the momentum going. Wrap up goal setting is essentially dream planning. Get specific about what you want, break it down into chewable bits, and then go get it, tiger. Make a plan, find a friend to keep you in check, and don't forget to pat yourself on the back for the small wins. Life is too short for what ifs. Let's make those dreams a reality, shall we? Thank you for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a thumbs up. Thanks for your support.